Hello there, boys and girls, and everyone in between. This is Kubo, and welcome back after a long period of absence due to personal reasons. Long story short, I went down with stress. It was awful. I'm recovering, and we're back. Oh, happy days. Um, this is well. It's been over two months since we played this this last. Um, so. This will probably take a while to get back into. Because I didn't have the foresight to... What the hell is this? I guess this thing fell off the roof when I had my little LeChuck episode. I should get shouty more often. Uh, okay. Hmm. Suppose... Looks like the wind gods of Flotsam are pointing that away. Suppose the la one of the last things that happened in the previous video was... Some sort of... A Chucky episode. Of course, I didn't have the foresight to look up the previous videos before starting this one, but oh well, it makes it all the more fun. Let's see where we are going. Oh, we can run. Good. We like it, the running. Ooh. Hey there, Freeport! Do you mind if I get your pirate on the street opinion about the death cloud? Death Cloud? Pox of LeChuck. The Pox of LeChuck? Hmm. Pox of LeChuck. Eh. Two on the nose, not a pizzazz. Death Cloud is punching. More on your face, more. Ooh, I'm gonna die. Well, I got sick pirates to interview. See ya. Interesting. So, if I recall correctly, we had actually taken over the ship by some greasy, triggery behavior. And we had also. Unicorns. Shut up. Get your hand blown glass, unicorns. We had helped this uh, fat, dull playing person find a quote unquote very special and rare doll. That we made with Tara and a few other select items. Hey there, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. And you are? It's Hemlock. Hemlock McGee. Uh, you hmm? couldn't leave old Hemlock alone with his grog and his tattered dreams, could they? Uh huh? Did the wind shipwreck you on Flotsam Island too? I. I've been training a Susso D Zany Zephyr since I <laughs> washed up here. I even found an ancient scroll that promised to lead me to all the answers. No. I but I couldn't figure it out. I got so frustrated that I kicked one of those statues out in the jungle and stopped me toe. When I went to that butcher de Sage, he cut me leg off! Ooh, harsh. Without Wait, two what? good legs, I couldn't explore anymore. So I limped into Club 41 and started up a long-term relationship with a keg of grog. Yeah, that sounds like a sensible thing to do. Can I see your ancient scroll? Pray not, Skippy. I'm so big when stole it from me in a poker game oh. a few months ago. Oh, do I be good without my eye of the manatee, though? Gee, can I borrow it? Now, why in the name of Neptune's headmails would I let you borrow this priceless artifact of a long dead civilization? What is it with this game and manatees, anyway? I was thinking I could carry on your work to make amends for the whole getting your leg hacked off thing. Ah, fine. Can't use it anymore, anyhow. Thanks, Hemlock. Yep. I promise you probably won't regret this. There. What do you want now? What the heck happened to your legs? You mean, <laughs> aside from some Egypt <laughs> getting a poor old pirate involved in a deadly bar fight? <laughs> deadly? Um, yeah. Four words. The Marquis de Saint. Marquis de Singe okay. cut off your legs? Aye. 
Not only once, of course. He cut off the first leg seven years ago, after I stubbed me toe while investigating the winds of Hudson Island. That seems kind of severe. I sometimes I think that Auntie Git has it <coughs> in for me. You know, even aside from the legs, you're looking a little green at the gills. I think you should mind your own feet, wax you lily liver chump sucker! <laughs> It did not sound like he's a jump sucker right now. Whoa, what was that? Hmm. What was what? Why aren't you in Club 41, curled up with your grog? The two diamond cannon cloggers kicked me out! Why? Club has a strict no feet, no service clause. Talk about adding insult to injury. So long. Yeah, whatever. Wonder if we need to go up to that. Marquis de Sarge. Hmm. I'm not all too sure what we should be doing next. Oops. Oh, probably shouldn't be run. Oops. Stupid dual screen setup. God. Oui, oui. I am the Marquis de Singe, former court physician to King Louis himself. And who might you be? Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Zit Your hand. Yeah, I seem to have come down with something. This is fantastic. We must investigate at once. That guy's actually horrible. Mm. Très intéressant alors. And you say your sick little hand has a mind of its own? Yeah, it keeps hitting people, making rude gestures, doing all sorts of stuff I'd never do. Well, not without a really good reason, anyway. Fascinating. So, can you fix it? Monsieur Sripwood, you have my word as a former physician of the court of King Louis that by the time you leave here, your misanthropic hand will never trouble you again. Hmm. So, how did a dazzling urbanite like yourself wind up in a sleepy pirate island like Flotsam? Ah, mon ami, that is a tale of triumph <gasps> and tragedy. Many years ago, I was a young physician in the court of King Louis. Those were eighty days, tending to the many ills of the aristocracy, navigating scandalous palace intrigues. I was a rising star in this scientific firmament. And then? I mean, then? A conspiracy of jealous scientists. Excuse me of performing inhumane cross-breeding experiments with the Queen's poodles! Scientists can be so catty. Uh, the King was outraged and ordered me exiled on this deserted tropical island. Deserted? Then you were the first? Oui. Happily, my solitude was short-lived, as the merry winds of Flotsam have conspired to bring me many new pirate patients over the years. You know, Hemlock thinks you've got it in for him. Hemlock? Pirate explorer. Two peg legs? Bit of an attitude? Oh, Hemlock. Such a sad little pirate. All those years of searching in vain for the secrets of Flotsam Island have driven him where... How you say? Cuckoo bananas, no? Cuckoo bananas? Incroyable! So, Doc, what's the verdict? Oh, monsieur, you are a very lucky man. I am? Ah, oui. The disease spreading through your saucy little parrot hand is like nothing I've ever seen before. That doesn't sound very lucky. In fact, somewhere in that easing appendage may lie the secret to life itself. It may? Hey, nice going, Han. I'll know more after I cut it up. What? Say again? Hey! But of course, Monsieur Sweepwood. The only cure for a hand that infected is a quick, clean amputation. Amputation? Isn't that a little rash? No, it's a very big rash, which is why we'll have to amputate. But not to worry, monsieur. Your hand won't feel a thing thanks to my specially concocted grog anesthetic. Ow! 
Now, if you'll just relax here a few minutes, I'll be in the back sharpening my petite guillotine blade. We don't want to cut off our hand with a dual blade now, do we? Well, I guess you have a point there. Au oh, boy. What a loon. At least my hand seems under control for a while. I better figure out a way out of this tastefully appointed abattoir before the Marquis de Crazy Pants comes back. Um. Okay, interesting. That guy actually reminds me of uh, those French guys in uh, Black Adder, the third, I think it is, the third season. Where they have that uh, the Scarlet Pimpernel episode thingy. Oops. Huh. A stack of pictures. That's the key to Singe used to lock me down. If only weren't so far away. Well, this looks like a bit of an interesting puzzle. Feet don't fail me now. Score one for the pirate with the pointy feet. Well, that's probably something that needs I to be used here. Works, or I'm about to throw away a perfectly good key. Excellent. Shock! Bad monkey! After I take care of Monsieur Sweepwood, it's back in the box for you. Listen, monkey, if you and I work together, we can both bust out of this joint. What do you say? Are you with me? <laughs> that's the universal symbol for yes. That monkey seems a little bit mentally challenged. What do we have here? Nothing of interest. Wait, what's this? This looks like it might do something interesting. <laughs> oh! That looked unpleasant. What the hell? What's wrong with that monkey? Let's see what this does. Bananas from heaven! Thanks, banana god! Huh? Come on, Jacques! Help a guy out! What? Wonderful. Huh, a stack of pictures. That I can't do shit to. Oh. Now this is interesting. It's a stack Oops. of pictures. Oh, no, no. It's this one. Let's see if we can't find something useful here. Yeah, I think we've seen that. Okay, nothing new about this. That's the key to Singe used to lock me down. Okay. It's a strange drawing of the inside of my hand. I call it La Desangerap. I call it creepy. Yeah, I'm pretty much with Guybrush on this one. Hmm. Wonder what this will do. Uh. It's a cute little oops. bell. No, no, no. Damn it. Can we skip this, please? So, what did shucking it do again? Other than make it clap.
try to shuck it. Oh. Sorry. Oops. All right, feet. Make yourselves useful. They're stalling your cloth. All right. A gross picture of my grosser hand. Things are looking up. Nope. I can't reach it from this position. Whoops. I meant to do that. Uh, right, you did. I'm not really sure what this will do for us, but, um, let's see. Yes, hand. Oh. So. Instead of a key, it was an ice cream cone. Plus, I was in my underwear for some reason. Yeah, that sounds very sane. <laughs> wow, he seems excited about something. I'm guessing we need to make him jump on our head now. Which we will achieve with this. For some reason. Um, banana. You magnificent magnetic monkey. Gotcha! Now, to work the key into the lock. Ta da! Score! Monsieur Swipwood, what do you think you're doing? Get back on the table at once. Uh -uh. Sorry, Doc, but I think I should get a second opinion. Thanks for numbing up my hand, though. All that flailing and slapping was getting on my nerves. Great! See ya. Something is terribly wrong with that monkey. Wait, stop! I must have your beautiful justifying hand! Come back! Slovenly parrots! Leaving their trash floating all over the place! Hmm, a parrot hunter, eh? Maybe you shouldn't taunt the man. Okay, so what did that actually get us? Just about fuck all, I think. Breakable bottle. I have no actual idea. Deep gut. Should. Hmm. Um, oh, right. That's that was what we used for uh, for finding the voodoo lady. So that won't do us any good. Um, this one maybe I think we could use for something. Maybe. Oh, this looks pretty ominous. idea what to use that for. Wait. Find it that way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, okay, oh well. It's nice. Interesting. Uh wait, did it point to the left or to the right? 
Ah, oh, damn it. Like that. Point to guy brushes. Okay, so the right of the well. This way, I think. Crossroads. Hmm. Looks like the wind gods of Flotsam are pointing that way. I'm really just trying my luck here. No actual idea if this is what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Wishing well. I wish I were the mightiest pirate ever. Uh oh. No! Yikes. Let's try this again. Interesting. Pretty much pointing in the same direction towards nothing whatsoever. What's this? Hmm. Curious. Wait. Huh? Huh? The ship. Treasure, we have Creepy Shack where the voodoo lady lives, and I have no idea what to use that for. Unicorns! Oh, geez. Get your hand blown glass, unicorns! Um. Oh, pot. I'm back. Hi, so you are. What can you tell me about this bottle? Arr, that'd be one of me special unbreakable bottles. Unbreakable? Ha! Ah, there isn't a bottle alive that's a match for my gift for destruction. Job. The sacred ingredients are those jagged crystal reefs. They're tougher than diamonds. Weird. But what do you do if you want to open one of these unbreakable bottles in order to, say, look at an ancient scroll you've cleverly sealed inside? Arr, that's a good question, lad. Here, show you how it's done. Ooh. Interesting. Use this little beauty to chip off flakes from the reefs and to crack open bottles like this one. So let me get this straight. Your unbreakable right bottles are, in fact, opened by breaking them? Don't get cute, Blandy. I break other things too, you know. Snifty. Wait. Didn't... Just bet that Hemlock's map holds the secret to getting off this island. Okay, so I need to give it to him, or...? Could you use your nifty bottle-breaking tool to break open a bottle for me? Of course! Great! Awesome. Be 37 oh, pieces damn of it. What? I haven't got any pieces of eight. Then I guess I won't be breaking any bottles for you. God damn it. What about... Would you like a flower? 
Eh, those things make me sneeze like a banshee. It can be a real hazard when you're blowing molten glass. Yeah, that makes sense. Banshee sneeze. Who knew? Hmm. I don't think they'd enjoy my parrot as much as I. Probably not. Molly, want a cracker? It's me, Yarbor Street Boy, Mighty Pirate. Useless. Once I get Aww. off this stupid island and find Elaine, I guess I'm gonna have to track down this Decava guy so I can find La Esponja Grande. Probably need to distract him somehow. A three-headed monkey. Don't tell me it's that easy. Hey, keep your grubby mitts off me, bottle breaker. Darn. Hmm. I don't think. Oh. Hey. I don't think they'd be amused by my YouTube offering. Wow. Never thought I'd see a pirate selling glass unicorns for a living. Hey. And I never thought I'd see a talking babble. Oh, I guess we're even. I need something to distract this guy, but can't for the life of me figure out what. bit stumped right now so maybe this would symbolize a good point to take a little break from this the first video in months Alphabet sail. shut up I'm talking but yeah um, I will stop this video right here and hopefully you have enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it it's great being back to recording the videos again I've actually missed this so hopefully I should get back out of but bleh. let me try that again without stumbling over the words. Hopefully, I will get back to a more regular schedule of uploading videos in the near future. I hope so, and I hope you'll join me for them. So, thank you for watching, and bye.